Hey everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor. Today we've got the audio system demo of the 2021 Lexus ES and its 17 speaker Mark Levinson audio system. This is going to be an in-depth review. We're going to take a look at the infotainment system, take a look at speaker locations, audio controls, audio inputs, and audio settings, do an Android Auto and Apple CarPlay demonstration, get on the road, listen to these sample tracks while we're rolling, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Before we get started, let's hop out and take a quick look at the car. This is a little sweetheart in the Lexus sedan lineup. Bigger than the IS, smaller than the GS and the LS. But sharing similar styling to all of them now. It's really a nice car. Not a bad price, coming in around 50 grand. I would pass on the F Sport, especially with this engine. A little four cylinder, but as a solid, comfortable, soft car, it really excels. It's so solid, listen to this. If you want to see more on the ES, check the links in the description for our full review and our highway fuel economy test. We always do these audio tests with uncompressed lossless WAV audio files on a USB stick plugged directly into the system and high quality binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. We also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory defaults, so let's take a look at those now. No touch screen in the ES, so you have to use this trackpad. Go over to sound. You have your standard front, rear, left, right, fader, and balance treble, mid-range, and bass, an automatic sound levelizer, so as ambient noise increases, so does the music. And you have a surround setting. Let's toggle that on and off now. And your treble, mid-range, and bass. Audio controls in the ES. Like I said, you do have this touchpad that you have to move around the system with. Once you get used to it, it's okay, but it's still not my favorite method to use. You also have a nice volume knob here. No detents, but it is easy to grab onto. And volume on the left side of the steering wheel. Track selection. You've got physical buttons here. You can use trackpad and touch these buttons on the screen. You also can use this tuner knob. And lastly, you have controls on the steering wheel. For audio inputs, you have your standard AM, FM, Sirius, XM, satellite radio. You also have two USB-A ports right there, both with data, but cannot be used simultaneously for data. You have Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto support, a disc player right here, and a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack. So what does that mean you're missing? Well, you don't have any USB Type-C ports, but other than that, you've got it all. For speakers here in the Mark Levinson system. As I said, it's a 17 speaker system with 1800 maximum watts. You can see here, Mark Levinson has a great website where you can see all these specs. Let's go through and take a look at speaker locations now. There are a lot of speakers in here that they call Unity speakers, so it's two in one. Down here we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, I missed one over there, and then 17 rear deck subwoofer. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto demo. Start with Apple CarPlay. Got our trusty iPhone 7, and you'll notice as we plug in here, the music's gonna dip out, because like I said, it can't do both data ports at the same time. Menu, Apple CarPlay, it comes right up. I never pressed anything on the phone to make it pair. It just, and I didn't do anything with the center system either. It just came right up. Get this nice wide interface. There would be a map right here, but I don't have cell connection on that iPhone right now. So you got your music. Everything's still operated through this touchpad and your setting screen right there. Looks good. Okay, Android Auto. Your prompt next. And. 
there we have it, came right up. It is the widescreen Android Auto, so you've got kind of your information on the side with music playing and then your maps right there. Move things around, got YouTube music, and make your way down, you got settings here. All right, let's get our music playing again and get on the road. Music does dip out when you start the car, but it'll come back in a moment. It actually takes a while to get going, there we go. Those of you who have listened to lots of our sound tests, especially with this song, you know there should be a really deep, powerful rumble right there in that song. Not really picking up on that with this ES. That's been my biggest complaint so far about the system is the bass is surprisingly absent. And for a system to feel strong and inclusive, it needs a solid bass ability. Test that out some more in this next song. Again, this song we play in every single car for every test, and on the really good systems, there's a driving force to the bass drum and the bass guitar. They all come through and create a really solid, satisfying lower end. Not really getting that in the ES here. Turning the bass setting up doesn't help much either. Let's do that now. It kind of just creates a low, 
messy bass rather than a solid powerful one. speed we'll let you hear what the ES sounds like at 70 Let's get this car away from us a bit this car is remarkably quiet you could eat so many miles in this thing no wind noise very little road noise a little bit of engine noise because this little four cylinder has to downshift a lot in order to make enough power even just getting up hills on the highway but when it's in top gear it's nice in here this next song we're going to go back over to the base and turn it all the way up disappointed and part of that might just be because I had my expectations set really high I've heard from multiple people sound engineers who worked on the system commenters other auto reviewers saying that this Mark Levinson and this ES is really really good now I will point out that the car only has 500 miles on it so there's a possibility that the speakers need to be broken in a bit some people claim that speakers sound better after hundreds of hours of listening but realistically, we can't do hundreds of hours of music playing here to break in the speakers. We gotta go off what we've got. And just off of that, certain songs sound really good. This is by no means an entry level system. It sounds good. It's just not blowing me away the way other Mark Levinson systems had. If I had to give an objective rating to this system, I'd be giving it about an eight, eight and a half. I do appreciate all the audio inputs, the relatively easy controls, and the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. It would be nice to have the touchscreen functionality of some of the newer Lexus systems, but you can get around that as an owner. Subjectively speaking, in this class, this price point, I think about an eight or an eight and a half is still fair. You're paying at least 50 grand to get this system, and there are definitely Volvos that are going to sound a little better for the same money. Thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see more on the ES, check the links in the description. We'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on. <laughs>